Welcome back to Soda City Live, everyone. They say a picture is worth a thousand words, and you also have to document your experiences and memories, especially in this world of social media that we live in. So I'm so happy to introduce you to such a unique, fun local business. Jessica Edmonds, Edmond rather, and her sisters wanted to help other people create lasting memories with their photo booth experience four brown girls photo booth and they created their business in honor of their mother who's joining us today as well miss rosemary jessica and then jarcelyn in the back so we're so happy to have you here uh, such an amazing business that you all created the 360 photo booth very popular and this is something that we actually have fun with before the show so before we get into it and show the pictures and video i really am interested to see how you created this business and then miss rosemary i want to hear from you especially since this was created in honor of you yes mm -hmm. well the 360 photo booth was put together based upon fun for family based upon the fact that my family heritage mm -hmm. brown is the last name mm -hmm. twice yeah. my mother who was a brown before she married and she married a brown oh wow okay uh -huh. one out of hopkins south carolina the other out of camden south carolina all right there was there were many children yeah all in the name of love and love and taking care of children all of her life is what we'd like to continue to do with this photo booth people making sure they have fun in their lives with any kind of celebra celebratory event. All oh, right, I love that. And then Jessica, being, you know, going out to these events and being the head of this as well, what does this do for you knowing that you're helping save memories? Well, it brings me a sense of joy because, you know, for the last two years, we've been dealing with the pandemic and a lot of families have lost a lot of loved ones and haven't mm -hmm. been able to capture those moments during those times. Yeah. So when we created this business, we decided what, what way to better capture images of people going forward is to, you know, have a photo booth, something that's fun and exciting for them. So that's what we plan to do with the photo booth is just to capture those memories going forward. All righty. And so Jarcelyn, I know that you're going to show us how everything works works uh, if we can step over here and just give an example of what you do when you're coming to this photo booth because I know it's been something that has been popular just around so if you can give us a little spin literally and show us how it works and as you do that we want to show some pictures and videos that we took earlier so yeah. So I'm going to have Jessica in yeah. to step on and mm -hmm. what she'll do is um, I'll get I'll have her to just be excited and use her upper body and then Three, two, one, and we'll spin. So All right. Yeah. Ready? Yep. Ready? Go ahead. Okay. Go. Here we go. <laughs> so there it is. You see that. And really fun, really easy, right? So now you see how it works. So let's see the results. We did this earlier. If we can pull up those pictures and videos uh, that we got earlier. Also a selfie station over here as well. Now look at that. That's our producers, Kareem and Megan, having some fun on the Four Brown Girls photo booth. Uh, really a fun event uh, in a way Look at our chief there, and Hannah. Okay, so I have to tell y'all, there was no music playing. <laughs> so they are getting down. I love to see this. This is so much fun. Okay, and that's a selfie. I got a little carried away. I got a little extra there. I can't help but a good picture, but this looks so neat. I love it. Um, in addition to your photo booth, though, you talked about how your family was raised on love, and you spread that love as well by doing community service. Tell us, outside of your photo booth and selfie station, what are some of the community service events that you guys are really passionate about? Well, since we've started, um, you know, we've been able to partner and connect with a lot of great businesses around. So, so far this year, we've only been in business for nine months. So we've had the opportunity to partner with uh, Black uh, Votes Matter, also Brown Girls of Tomorrow. And then going forward for the fall, we would like to help, um, you know, the Salvation Army help feed um, some of the homeless um, every Sunday at those shelters. And what we've talked about recently is that we want to give out care packages for the homeless in the wintertime because because we know that it's cold and they struggle. So we would like to help them as much as possible to help them get through those winter months. All right, that's perfect. And August is Black Business Month. So we were so happy to be able to highlight you guys. And again, uh, the family name for Brown Girls, Ms. Rosemary, you explained to us yes. where that came from. So loving to see that you're keeping the legacy going on and for people to get in contact with you so they can save their memories or if they want to be a part of your community service initiatives, uh, what can they do? Well, they can follow us 
us on our social media platforms, which is for Brown Girls, the number four Brown Girls photo booth on Facebook and the word F-O-U-R Brown Girls at Instagram, on Instagram. Or you can also follow us on our, uh, or visit us on our website at for, the word for Brown Girls, SC.com. All right, perfect. Well, thank you so much for being on the show today. And if you miss any of that important detail or the fun that you just saw, right, we're going to have it on our website, WISTV.com after the show. Again, thank you so much thank for coming for here. We're going to take a quick break and we'll be right back. All right.